Hello friends, this video on pair of linear equations in two variables part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Take home example where lies a parallel. So there are two equations here where we just solve these equations x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. So here also what we have to do? We have to first find the values of x and y which satisfy the equation. So let's suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So let's find the value for x and y equation 1. So equation 1 if you put x is equal to 0, what will get y? We will get light here. Then we will write 0 plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. That means y is equal to 2. 0 comma 2 is the solution. Now I can put x equal to 1 also, but if I put 1, I get the fractional value. See if you see, right? If I put 1 plus 2y is equal to 4, so y I will get is nothing but 1.5. I can take such values, but generally to make my life simple, I will not take such values because it is difficult to plot. So what I will take? I will take x equal to 2 now. Because if I take 2, it cuts. So this becomes 2 plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Or y is equal to nothing but 1. So if I take x equal to 2, I will get y is equal to 1. Correct. Now if I take x equal to 4, because 4 and 4 will get cancelled. So 4 plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. It's cancelled, so y is equal to 0. So I will get 4 comma 0. 3 points are more than enough for me to plot the graph. Now let me find the points for equation number 2. 2x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Correct. Now let me take x equal to 0 here. We first write x y here. Let me put x equal to 0 here. So if I put x equal to 0, what I get is 0 plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Because here I put x equal to 0. So I get y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3. Correct. I can put x is equal to 1 also, but if I put 1, this becomes 10 by 4. It's not a good number, so I'll leave that. So I'll put x equal to 2. If I put x equal to 2, I'll get 8 by 4. That's a decent number, 2. So I'll put x equal to 2 here. So I'll put x equal to 2. So what I'll get? 2 into 2 plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Or 4y is equal to 12 minus 4 is 8. Or y is equal to 2. So I'll get y is equal to 2. Correct. I can also put x is equal to 6 because if you put x is equal to 6 here, this becomes 12, this becomes minus 12, cancels. So I'll get y is equal to 0. So I'll put x is equal to 6 here. So if you put x is equal to 6 here, so what I get is 2 into 6 plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. It's cancelled, so I get y is equal to 0. So these three points, uh, these three values we have, these two values we have, now I can plot the graph. So let me do that. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will be somewhere here. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct? Now the first point is 0, 2. x is 0, y is 2. This one. Second is x is 2 y is 1, this point. Third is x is 4, y is 0, this point. So let me now plot the graph. Okay, just so join this point. Sorry. So this is my point, x plus 2y, this is my graph. Now let me plot for the other one x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. So this point, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 is this point. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 is this point. I will put bigger dots here. x is equal to 6, y is equal to 0. So we this point. Okay. So if you see, I will draw this line also. Okay. 
So if you see these two lines are parallel. I have not drawn it so good, but if you see these lines are parallel. Correct? Both the lines are parallel. Now if both the lines are parallel, we can say that there is no solution. So these two equations has no solution. So for these two equations, we are trying to find the value of x and y is satisfied with the equation, then there is no solution. Let's take one more example where the lines are coincident. 5 pence and 7 pen cost together 50 rupees, whereas 7 pencil and 5 pence together cost 46 rupees. Find the cost of 1 pencil and 1. Now let's suppose this is pencil, this is pen, this is pen, this is pencil. So we'll put pencil as x and pen as y. Correct? The question says 5 pencil and 7 pen. Pencil is x, so it is 5x plus 7y. Total cost is 50 rupees. Whereas 7 pencil and 5 pen. 7 pencil is again 7x plus 5 pen is 5y is equal to 46 rupees. Correct? Now we have two equations. The first thing we know is to form the equation. So we have got the equation 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 and 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. We have to find cost of pencil and pen, that is we have to find the value of x and y. Correct? Now, to solve using graphical method, first thing is we have to plot this point with the x, y axis. So now let's find the value of x and y. This is equation 1. Equation. So for equation 1, let me put x. So this equation is nothing but 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. Correct. So if I put x equal to 10, the 50 will be cancels. I can put any value, but just I want to make my, uh, to solve this question fast. So I'll put some values which generally cuts those things. So I put x equal to 10, this will cancel, the same this. So I'll put x equal to 10, y becomes 0. Right? This is 50, 50 will be cancel, y is equal to 0. Similarly, if I put x is equal to 3, 50 minus 50, 15 equal to 35, and 35 you can very well divide by 7. So I'll put x equal to 3. I can take any value, but if I put x equal to 3, this makes my life simple. This is because 15, 50 minus 15 is 35, 35 is divided by 7. So I'll take x equal to 3. So this becomes uh, 15, uh, my y becomes 50 minus uh, 15 by 7. It is 5. This becomes 5. Correct? These two are the moment sufficient. Now let me take for this equation. 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. So here if you see 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. Here uh, 7 into something is equal to 46. Do we have value? We don't know. If you say 7 into 8, this becomes 56. So this becomes minus 10. But still minus 10 is 0 5, so we can put 10. So let me put that. So if I put x is equal to 8, this becomes y becomes 46 minus 56 by 5. That is minus 2. This becomes minus 2. Similarly, let me put this as a, if I put this as minus 2, this becomes 14 minus 14, this becomes plus this side, this becomes 60, there will be a 5. So I'll put minus 2. This becomes y becomes 46 plus 14 by 5. That is 60 by 5, that is 12. So I have minus 2. So I think with these two we can plot the graph. Let's try. Since we have 12 tens and all, so we'll take a different scale altogether. This is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8. This becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Minus 1, 
minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, minus eight. So I'll write it as minus eight, this eight, and this minus eight. The first point is x is ten, y is zero. This will come somewhere here. X is ten, y is zero. Some point here. Second point is x is three, y is five. So x is three is here, right? And y is five. One, two, three, four, five. So by joining these two points, I get the equation for that line. Correct? Let me draw this line. This is the line. Almost here. And this is three point. Now the next point is eight comma minus two. This is fine. Eight comma minus two will come somewhere here, right? This point and minus two comma twelve. This is uh, minus one minus two, and y is twelve. Twelve is somewhere ten twelve somewhere here. This is okay. Now let's join these two points. This is not proper, but this is how the line should come out to be. And this means, and if you see this point, that is three comma five. So we can say x y is nothing but three comma five. That is our solution. The graphical method is a little difficult. I'll take you to the algebraic method that is a little simple. But here, if you see, this is how the line you get. If you draw the straight line, this will meet here, three comma five. So three comma five is the solution. What we have done here, we have just first written the equations, linear equations of two variables, and then we plotted the graph for these equations, and then we found the point of intersection. That is a solution. So, cost of one pencil is three rupees, and cost of one pen is five rupees. Now, thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.